Your brother hates me. And when Riva goes back to the States, he's going to hate me even more. She's not going anywhere. She only stayed to find the baby. He can't keep her here forever. You couldn't be more wrong. He's in love with her now more than ever. Just stop it. The fact that Jonathan's dead is going to draw them closer together. He'll fall into her grieving arms. She's a very compassionate woman. Her heart will go out to him. So it's far from over. What are you saying? We're not rid of her yet. We still have work to do. I'll have you brought up on murder this charges. This is funny. Do you see me laughing? The Crown Prince is dead because of you. He wouldn't. There's no proof. It's a minor detail. Richard trusts me implicitly. And I do have a modicum of power here in San Cristobal. Let's see, when Richard charged Riva for kidnapping and treason, the penalty was death. What's the penalty for murder? I wonder what will happen to you. It was you. You were the reason she gave me Jonathan because she was afraid of you. Think what you want. It doesn't matter. All that matters is getting rid of Reva Shane. And you are going to help me do it. Here. Did you hear something? No. It sounded like someone was at the door. Marissa, nobody's at the door. Nobody knows. We'll be far out of the country before anybody ever finds out. If Prince Richard discovers that your sister was involved in this, if he finds out that I know what happened to his son... He won't. He can't. All right? No, just forget about being so neat. Just put your things in the back. I'm scared, Olivia. I am so scared. Okay. It's going to be all right. We're together now. But what we did was a crime. Prince Richard will be out of his mind if he learns the truth. But we, we won't be here if you hurry up. Now, please, just pack. Don't even say things like that. Why? Because you're worried, too? Look, everything is going to be fine once we get out of here, right? We'll leave San Cristobal, start a new life. Nobody will even know our names. If we ever even get off the island at all, if somebody doesn't tell the prince... That's not going to happen. I told you they have no reason to be looking for me right now. Then why are we leaving at all? If you're so sure, why are we even packing? You're afraid they're going to find out. Why don't you admit it? I don't think there's much chance of that. You don't think? Wait a minute. I thought you told them that Thompson died. You said they believed you. I, Reva asked me where he was buried. I, I, I had to tell her something. You told her? I had to. What would you have done? You don't actually think she would try to look for him, do you? I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me this before? You've dragged me into this and now we're going to get caught. Why did I listen to you? What was I even thinking? It was six years ago, Marissa. Six years and, and still nobody knows. Don't you think that says something about the situation? You also told me Catherine would never come back. You promised me and she's here now, Olivia. All right, look. Look, I know what I said. And this is very unexpected, but I don't want you to panic. How can I help it? I've convinced them all that Jonathan died of some strange illness, some tragic, horrible accident of fate. What happened was no accident. But nobody knows that. But they will. You know that they will. From what you've just told me, it's going to be impossible to keep this a secret. I want to stay here just as much as you do, but... You know, sometimes our lives takes us down different paths to different places, and when you stop to think about it, that's what makes it so exciting, right? Come here. Everything is going to be all right, Jonathan, I promise you. Marissa, what is it? Did you hear the helicopters? They're looking for us. No, Marissa, just call them. We're not safe here, Olivia, and you know it. We can't go anywhere. We can't leave the island. They know. They must know that Jonathan is still alive. God, I keep thinking of that night, the, the night that you brought him to us. Catherine was afraid for her child's life. She asked me to keep Jonathan safe and, and that she would come back for him, and when she did... You I gave him to us to keep because we couldn't have a baby of our own. Well, we're putting him in danger now, Olivia. But it's, it's not safe. What if they come after us with weapons? What if he gets hurt or shot? Who did shot, Mommy? Nobody, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Your aunt and I were just talking about... about a movie. A movie that we'd seen. What was it about? About a mother who adopted a little boy that she loved with all of her heart. Then what happened? Well, 
she was so afraid her little boy would get hurt that she decided to give him back. Did you ever do that to me, Mommy? No. No. We would never let anyone ever take you away from us. We have to know the truth, Richard. We will. We will find the truth. If our son is still alive, we will find him. It's for you, sir. Who is this? They wouldn't say, only that it was urgent. Give it to me. Hello? Edmund. Where are you? Never mind about that. Look, I need your help. Um, I have to get off of San Cristobal. What do you want from me? Your boat with the official seal. Nobody will check it. Nobody will stop it from leaving. If you're asking for a favor, I presume you're willing to offer one in return? Yes, I am. Good. And I presume I know what you need from me. We can finally get rid of a very troublesome matter, my life. All right, Edna, what do you want me to do? Call Reva. Get her over to your house tomorrow, alone. I can't guarantee you she'll come. She will if you tell her it's about Jonathan. She's obsessed with the boy. She'll come. Olivia? All right. All right. All right. All right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Excellent. If Reva's there tomorrow at noon, the boat will be waiting for you in the harbor with safe passage out. She'll be there. What's the matter? What's happened? No, no. I, I, I just... Made sure that no one would ever take Jonathan away from the two of you. Well, it may be too late. Richard's desperate. They just questioned me about you for an hour. Well, don't worry. We're all going to be safe together. What have you just done? like I promised. What have you done? I just arranged for us to leave San Cristobal. It's all set. We're going to leave tomorrow. Everything's going to be fine, Marissa. No one will ever take Jonathan away from the two of you. I promise. Thank you, Olivia. I don't know what we'd do if we lost you. But wait, wait a minute. I don't understand. How is it possible that you arranged for that? What did you do? I, I can't. So don't ask me, okay? All right. I won't ask you. Reva, I am so sorry, but I had to do it. <laughs> 